So to create the basket weave for the naked, this is both the front and the back. See, you fold into two and into two, as if you are cutting a flare. So that is how you cut out the paper. But you have one inch extra. So take the measurements, measure what you have here, and cut out the square. Here by here. I have seven by seven and a half day. You add extra inches and cut out the paper. So you see the open side. This is also the open side. So you place it on it, let it be on the edge like this. And then you add seam allowance. You add one inch seam allowance before you cut out the paper. So you add seam allowance around it like this. Is one and a half. Why the front is three and a half? This is for the back, and then this is for the front. So I'll cut for the back first. back and then cut the front. So this is the center back, this is the center front. So you lay your pattern. So this is front, center front. Then this is center back. So to start drawing our lines, let's go rule out the shoulder line. This is the shoulder. This is the shoulder. And then this is the center. Center back. And then center front. So, the next thing is to determine the width. You determine the width of the basket. So, I'm going to be using a width of one, one and a half. So, you are going to be marking one and a half or two. So, use your pencil first. One and a half. So it takes some time to just mark it. So you mark 
all through like that. So the back will be about four. One, two, three, four. So we are going to repeat the same thing on this side. After which we also roll the line across the same width one and a half. So from the center front, we mark one and a half like this. One and a half interval. So if you are using one inch, then one inch interval. It's two inches, two inches interval. So this is what we have. I'm going to use a marker to rule again so that it can see it clear. So this is what we have for the front. So you go ahead and repeat the same for the back. From the center back, you mark the interval one and a half, one and a half, like that. One and a half, one and a half. Then from the shoulder, you also mark one and a half, one and a half, one and a half, one and a half. So we can have space square off. So this is what we have for the front and the back. So this is ready. The next thing is to cut out our strip. So this is what it looks like when you sew across. So the next thing now is to sew on top like this. Then we sew the opposite side. So continue sewing across. I'll show you what it looks like. So this is what we have. This is the original trap. So 
so we are going to trim the edge a little just a little just smoothing it a little okay then we are going to cut the neckline now this is the center front this is the center back see so we'll cut to the back first okay so i'll just cut the, with the back first then trim here a little we need some allowance so i'll cut the neck the back neck line So I'm going to open it up now so I have cut the front. But before then, I'll just trim here a little, trim around a little. Okay, so we'll cut the front neckline. So that is how to draft a basket with neckline. Then you can now go ahead and attach to your dress. So that is for the front. Okay.